I've seen on a few of the forums and on some of the uh, Facebook pages that I'm on that people have a little bit of trouble when it comes to downloading images and what to do with them once you've got them to make them fit on your Raspberry Pi or modded arcade one-up systems we're using Raspberry. Now, it's dead simple, but it's only simple if someone shows you how to do it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this very, very quick video that we've got here. You only need one thing. You need one program and a file, and that's it. And you can put it onto your, your SD card. Now, the biggest problem that people have got is what kind of images do I need and what do I do with them when I've downloaded it? Now, wherever you get your images from, I can't tell you where to get that from on this on this page, I'm afraid, because uh, I don't want to shut down. But Google is your friend, and if you ask for recommendations, I'm sure people will give them to you. Once you've got the images, they're downloaded in usually in one of two different formats. They're either downloaded like this as a .img file, or they're downloaded in a folder like this. And when you open it up, you see a lot of zip files you see a lot of zip folders like this and this instantly confuses people because they think well i've downloaded images where are they what they're meant to do well actually this is your image this has been uh, zipped or archived all you've got to do is double click any of them but double click the top one and it'll open up the uh, your extractor of choice and there's your image file all you need to do to that is drag it somewhere where you know where it's going to be and let go of it then you'll add that extract uh, and then once it's extracted, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do with it next. Right, so there we go. That's that bit done. So once the uh, the zip the zip file has been un extracted, extracted, unextracted, extracted. That's what I'm looking for. You can get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that as well. So then you're left with a .img file, which is what we need to be working with. Now, the program that I like to use to write my imaging file, everybody's got their own preference, but the one I personally like to use is Win32 Disk Imager. So if you go ahead and open that up, that'll give you a screen like this. Now, first thing you need to do is insert your memory card into your computer. So bob it into your card reader or bob it into your internal memory card reader, but however you want to do it. So when you put it in, you'll get a little noise to say it's been initiated. So let's have a listen. There we go. Now you might get a message pop up that says this disk has a problem or this disk has an error. Don't worry because it might not have been formatted yet. It might have already got an image on there. It might have something on there that you need. Don't you worry at all about that uh, because you're going to be formatting it anyway. So close it down if it loads up. Now you want to point this disk image to the file that you've just downloaded. Okay. So we want to find where we've put it. So we put it on the desktop and it's that one there and open it up so that'll open it up now so that's got it in there now we need, now need to tell it what device now make sure you get the right one for this i know that my h drive is my memory card reader so i'm going to click that don't be writing or deleting any backup files or any backup drives that you've got so h drives mine and then you're going to click write and that says at the bottom you're going to down here you're going to write your data from the image file to the device so when i click that button it's now going to write that image file onto your memory card so we'll click the button and it's saying write into a physical device can corrupt your device so in other words it's telling you that this is a final warning click yes and then it's going to go and do and i'll show you what it looks like when it comes to the end of the uh, the writing So when it's all been righted and uh, done and dusted, guys, this is the message you get. It says, write successful. And that's it. I mean, it is literally a case now of just uh, safely removing the, uh, the SD card from your machine, unplugging it and plugging it directly into your Raspberry Pi, and it'll load up and it'll do what it says on the tin. It really is that simple. I'm not making this out to be as flippant as it is, but that's how you do it. The sticking point that people have got is what happens when they download it from wherever they download it from, and it appears... And it appears like this. That's where I've seen the most issues come. So once you've got past that point, you're absolutely golden. So that's it, guys. Away you go. Go and get those uh, images downloaded. Go and put them in your Raspberry Pi and go and have a play. If there's any suggestions for any tutorials you'd like me to go through, just give me a shout. Drop me in the comments. Drop me on Twitter. Talk, message me on Facebook. But thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time on Noob Game Reviews.